Let's get to meteorologist Kyle Roberts this morning. Uh, Kyle, you said, you know, yesterday was our, I guess, our record high for the summer. It was the hottest temperature we've seen so far this okay. summer. It wasn't officially a record yesterday. We were close. I think okay. we were one degree away from the actual record. But the hottest so May, far. But it was the hottest. But it just all so feels the same, honestly. It, it does. I really think you does. could tell a difference between, you know, 100 and 106. Okay, maybe. So, yeah. There, there is a bit of a difference there, and tomorrow will be a little cooler, relatively speaking. All I mean, right. we got to, everything's relative you. at this point, right? You're right. You know, you're right. I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be hot. You know that. Yeah. So, it's just kind of how hot. And mm -hmm. tomorrow might be a little less hot than today. Today's going to be about the same as, to, as it was yesterday. My high this afternoon, about 106, which would obviously be, be what we did yesterday. And if we actually if we hit 106 today, it would tie the record because the record today is 106. I believe it was 107 yesterday. Let's talk that lake level update. Unfortunately, all the area lakes continue, or at least almost all of them, continue to go down given the fact it's been so hot and dry recently. Grapevine, the only lake in kind of the DFW area that's right at even pool, so to speak. Some of them are doing okay, though. Ray Roberts to Louisville, only about a half foot low. LaVon's a foot and a half low. Ray Hubbard's uh, a foot low there. Joe Poole's two feet low. Lake Worth's uh, two feet low. Ben Brooks now down about four and a half feet. Let's go off to the northeast. Uh, Texoma, the old, you'll see one of the few places that's in the green, a foot and a half high right now. Tawakini is two and a half feet low. Forks, six and a half feet low. Cedar Creek now three feet low. Richmond Chambers is three and a half feet low to the southwest. Granberry's a foot and a half low. Look at Whitney now, all the way down to a five and a half feet low at the moment. And off to the west, the DFW Possum Kingdom is at two feet low. So all these local lakes continue to drop or at least hold steady if they have any sort of flow going into them at the moment. And I don't see that really changing much because our lack of rain will continue for the time being. Now, there could be some pop-up showers or storms this afternoon, but it's not the type of rain that's going to fill up those local lakes, unfortunately. We need widespread soaking rain. We need a tropical system or something like that up here in North Texas to really help us out, not only with the drought, but with those lake levels as well. That excessive heat warning continues today. It expires this evening, so today's our last day under that excessive heat warning. But I imagine some sort of heat advisory, remember that's one step below an excessive heat warning, will continue tomorrow and maybe into the upcoming week as well. Excessive heat warning means temperatures well above 100 degrees and heat index values that could be as high as 110 or hotter. Today, my high 106, like we talked about, we could see a few of those pop up showers or storms. There'll be more miss than hit, though, as I only have about a 20% coverage. And then there's that cool down tomorrow. It is a little cooler, obviously, but maybe just less hot. It will be a hot afternoon. Humidity might not be as high tomorrow either, so it's a little bit better day than what we're going to see today. Outside this afternoon, some of those bubble up showers and storms, they'll take until the heat of the day to get those. So by you know 2 to 3 o'clock, we start to see those showers and storms bubble up. They'll be out there through the afternoon, 5 o'clock, 7 o'clock this evening, and then they come to a close as we lose the heat of the day. So your coverage, 10, 20, maybe 30% across the area. If you do see rain, Consider yourself lucky because most of you will not. But also, if you're seeing that rain, be aware it's obviously going to have lightning because these are going to be thunderstorms, and they could have those strong wind gusts underneath those storms as well. So use caution if you have any outdoor events. Keep an eye on the sky, and also uh, make sure to get off those local lakes if storms are nearby as well. Temps go up and down a little bit on that 10-day forecast. It's just kind of ranges of hot. Some days it's well above 100 degrees. Some days it's right around 100 degrees. The next day where it's right around 100 would be next Wednesday, where we also could see some pop-up showers or storms as well. Besides today, though, I don't have any record heat on that forecast. You, uh, most of those uh, records set back in 1980. Unless you lived through that summer, I think it is just hard to explain how hot that summer was. I mean, look at that 10-day forecast. All but two days, those record highs are from 1980. Oh, yeah, a scorcher. A scorcher there. Thanks there, Kyle.